Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a two box break of 2021-22 Panini Donruss Soccer. Uh, this is random country break number 13. Popping from a fresh case right here as well. Let's do the randomizer first. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. All, uh, all of those countries are in. A couple combos there as well. Let's roll it. Let's rando it. Two and a two for the hard way. One, two, three, and four. And we've got some, while we're doing this football break, got a little American football on the background. Cardinals at Rams. Rams up 7 nothing. Scott down to Derek. After four times for the hard way for the countries. One, two, three, and good luck. Fourth and final time. After four, we've got Korea down to Espana. All right, Scott with Korea, Anthony with Portugal, Dayton with France, Robert with Mexico, Jehun with Belgium, Jesse with the Sweden, Norway, Croatia combo, and Poland. Dayton with Germany and the United States, Peter with Brazil, Jesse with Colombia, Kevin with Uruguay, Jesse with Italy, Craig with Argentina, Robert with the Netherlands, and Derek with England and Spain. Let's sort this by column B by country. And while you're considering trades, we're going to pop this case open over here and we're going to see which two boxes we're going to do. Let's move this camera back to its original position right over here. So we're going to keep rolling the dice until we get the number of boxes that we want. So we've got column one, two, three, and four. We're going to select a die. We're going to select that Liverpool red die. Six, we'll roll again. Four, one, two, three, four. So column four, very far right. We'll save these for next time. Philip, when is the baseball mixer not seen on the schedule? Scroll down a little bit on the schedule, and I'll tell you why it's not on the schedule. we got to do some fillers. We'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 on the dice roll. 2, 1, 2. And then we'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, top box right there as well, and we'll save this for next time. All right, no trades? Okay, I guess we'll just roll. Let's print and rip. So here's the final printout, hot off the presses here for break number 13 on the 17th. And good luck. I guess I could close the, the football poll. We got 87 votes. Who wins tonight? Monday Night Football against the spread, 56% saying the Rams minus three.
after about a quarter of work here. Who are the guys we're looking for in the U.S.? I think Christian Pulisic is in this set. But I know he's been in a, in a bunch of sets. There must be all cards shipped, so... Maybe there'll be some names we're not familiar with that could be bigger names later this, this year. World Cup's happening this year, so it's good to get in on the soccer. And I would, I would hold on to a lot of the soccer stuff, too. Christian Pulisic remains one of the bigger names for for us anyway. And it'll be interesting to see. I feel like the I feel like the Americans have a lot of is Owen Wijnaldum, uh, Wendell that is. Thinking of Jorginho Wijnaldum. But um, there's a lot of players that are in like their early 20s that'll be in their first World Cup this year. And the idea is, you know, they get they get a little of the World Cup experience this year, and then within in, in four in another four years, when the World Cup's here in, the, in North America, they might be well positioned to make a pretty deep run on a, on on relatively home turf. Might be one of our best opportunities in a while for the United States. For the men's team, anyway, to try to try to knock out a World Cup or make a deep World Cup run happen. I don't know if they'll actually knock out a World Cup, but all right, we got uh, Jamal Musiala to ninety-nine for Germany. Dayton. Portuguese players right here, CR7 for Anthony and João Felix. Could make a real big name for himself in the World Cup this year. Here's a press proof to 349. Duvan Zapata for Colombia, that'll be for Jesse. Is a Lil Nell Messi. I guess this would probably be Messi's. This is for Craig. Is this Messi's last? This might be Messi's last World Cup. Poland, we've got 55 out of 149. That's Pitor Zielinski. That's Jesse with Poland. England has a lot of youngsters like Marcus Rashford coming up the ranks. They could make a... I mean, we saw him in the Euro finals. What, lat, lat, not this past summer, the summer before that? No, maybe earlier this summer. 
Anyway, they made a great run. With a little, another little bit of experience under their belts, they can make another big run. They'll be one of the favorites, I'm sure. Bukai Osaka. And then out of 199, Jens Kahust for Sweden. Here goes to Jesse. Nice Erlen Holland. Marvel's press proof gold foil for Jesse. It's pretty good too. And Kit Series, Stephen L. Shaharwe. Forza Azuri, that'll be for Jesse Hunt. Nice. And all those England players, of course, will go to Derek in the Three Lions. Mbappe's pretty good, too. I think we should have one auto here, right? Yeah, I don't think we've seen the auto yet. Messi. And we've got a Rune Yarsten for Norway, 15 out of 49. Going along with that silver foil, Erlen Holland, both for uh, for Jesse in that combo spot. Uh, Gilo is asking, what's the sports card market look like over there in Europe for these? I think the sports card market in general is it's just not as popular uh, in Europe and Australia, but. But there is a small but uh, small but strong community out there. That's why when you're selling like a lot of these cards, it's probably a good idea to open these up to international shipping. I can't believe that Cam Akers got the Cardinals-Rams game on the background. I can't believe Cam Akers did his Achilles earlier this year. Maybe about like six, what, seven, eight months ago. And now he's, now he's back in action. There's the autograph. It's Jorge Campos, 41 out of 99. Legendary Mexico keeper going to Robert Runkle with L3. Now Cam Akers is out there running around, getting carries. All right, and Europe has the special UK edition tops cards. Yeah, they do. But that, that Europe market is growing, though.
Now, now throw it to Tyler Higby. I have, I have a Tyler Higby or Van Jefferson touchdown prop. Well, quick pass one of those guys in the end zone. Let's go. Give it to Tyler. Oh, don't run it. Mesut Ozil. Yeah, they put they did put royal family cards in here. Kind of funny because the royal family just keeps falling apart more and more. Are they? Not as bad when they lost the entire monarchy. That's probably the. It's probably the worst one. I feel like what's happening now is is small potatoes compared to when they had to cede power to the people. That was probably the worst moment for the Royals. And they're like, oh. <laughs> We're not kings and queens anymore. What power do we have? Nothing. Ceremonial. Got a Neymar autograph. Nice. 22 out of 99 for Brazil. That'll be for Peter Eng. Last spot, Mojo strikes again 70% of the time, hits 100% of the time. We'll see him in action in the World Cup later this year, the, towards the end of the year. One of those, I think the, maybe the first ever fall, winter, wintertime World Cup in Qatar, in the Middle East. Memphis Depay for the Orange to 149. That's a very good question. Won't the World Cup interfere with the Premier League? I, yeah, I, I, I don't know. A lot of the European countries have a winter break. So the, for like Spain and Germany and Italy, I think, I think the World Cup falls right kind of comfortably in that, that usual winter break that they have. The English Premier League doesn't have that same winter break, so I don't know what the what the FA is going to do. Whether they'll just keep playing Premier League games but without the stars, I guess like you know the they may just keep the Premier League going just without the stars, and it'll just be I guess. The non-starters. I mean, a lot of the big clubs will have like, will have some of the big names going away for the World Cup. So I guess we'll see how they'll handle that. Good time for the youngsters to come up the ranks, if that's the case. Maybe not necessarily replacements, but maybe like. You know, like like the the under twenties kind of kids, the 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 academy kids coming up the ranks. So this might it could be an example of who has like the best 
I guess, minor league squad, if you want to call it that. But we'll have to see how they play that. I'm not entirely sure. Does someone not, does someone actually know? They kind of they kind of need to figure that out pretty soon. Give it to Higby. Oh, the Stafford touchdown prop was plus nine hundred. Edison Gavani to 199 for Uruguay. That'll be for Kevin. More Erlen Hollands for Norway. It looks like a touchdown. I really didn't get to pay attention to the replay. Marcelo Brozovic to 199 for Croatia. I'll go to the combo for Jesse. We've got Federico Chiesa, 51 out of 99. Forza Azuri, a little color match. Jesse. That, my friends, is that. We got a card for our Norway right here. Mohamed El Yonasui. 196 out of 349. And there you go, gang. Nice break. I'm Joe for Jaspi's Case Breaks. Do I have to do anything else after this? No? No randomizer after this? Yeah, there you go. Random country number 13 in the books. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for some more footy. Bye-bye.